All right, welcome to module three. In this module, our expert will show us how to set up our first broadcast. So get ready to take some notes and let's jump right in. Okay, so let's get started with setting up our first broadcast. Go to broadcasting on your menu, then click add new broadcast at the upper right corner. Then select messenger. On the right side, you can switch to basic builder or the flow builder. Let's use Flow Builder to have a better visual of our broadcast flow. Click Starting Step and a sidebar will automatically appear. Select Other as our content type for this example. Then, let's type in our message. The message should read, hey there, first name, get my free five-day Christmas fitness bootcamp series. Are you interested? Then let's add the two options. Yes, I'm interested and no, thank you. Now let's connect our option to an action. Drag your mouse from the first option and then select start flow. Click to select a flow, then choose from your pre-made templates, then click select this flow. Let's do the same for the second option, but this time we'll choose send message. Then let's add a button, learn more. Now let's connect the button to the same flow. Once all is set, the next step is for our broadcast settings. Select the content type. We have three options here, non-promotional or mixed content. Next is the promotional content only, and then we have the follow-up type. Remember that the broadcast options are subject to the Facebook Messenger platform policy. To avoid getting suspended, we need to follow this. Then we have targeting. You can target each of your broadcasts by the following conditions. Select from the list below. Next, we have Schedule Broadcast. Start sending your broadcast immediately or schedule it to be sent on a particular date and time. Next, we have Time Zone Settings. Send all at the same time delivers your broadcast immediately. Use time travel to schedule time according to your subscriber's time zone. And lastly, use limit sending time to send message as soon as possible once user's daytime in his current time zone matches desired delivery hours. Now we go to the notification settings. This only applies to mobile notifications. Regular push notification will make a sound and display a phone notification. Only one regular notification triggers only one regular notification and the rest will be in silent mode. Only two regular notification triggers only two regular notifications and the rest will be in silent mode. Silent push will display a phone notification without a sound and silent broadcast will not display any notification at all. Once you're happy with the setup, click send now or schedule message at the top right corner. Now let's learn about the many chat sequences. The sequence is a feature that allows subscribers to receive chain of message at a given period of time. We can start by going to automation on the menu, then choose sequences. Then click the add new sequence at the upper right, type a name for your sequence, and then click create. You'll automatically see the pre-made message templates. You can change the sequence send time by clicking on the schedule, then choose another date or time you prefer. If you need to add a new message to your sequence, just click the Add Message button. On the right, you'll also see the analytics of your sequence. Send tells you the number of users that received your message. Clicks tells you the number of users who clicked the button on your message. And the last two are the computations for your open rate and your click-through rate. 
Now let's talk about flows. On the sidebar menu just after the automation rules, you'll find the flows folder. Flow Builder is a visual editor of all messages, actions, and transitions between them. Let's have a quick overview of the Flow Manager's elements. At the top, you'll find a search bar to search flows by a name. Next, we have the Add New Flow button. We also have the Toggle View. Click Toggle View button to switch between list and thumbnails. Then we have the folders to help you organize your flows. Next, we have the smart folders to store your current bot automations. On the middle, you'll see your flow information, which contains the name, the channels of your flow, the number of runs, and when it was modified. The three dots on the right open the context menu that allows you to perform actions. Rename changes the flow name. Duplicate clones your flow to the same folder. We also have the share this flow, copy to another page, and delete, which moves your flow to the trash.